Welcome to this little tutorial, which has been asked for quite a few times. Today I'm gonna show you how to get on top of Ulrich, in the top vent below Good Crane, with only bandages and without killing a single scientist. There's two ways on how to get to Ulrich, so you can go there by boat, or of course by diving gear. By boat is the way easier method, because you can literally count and see where the scientists are going, and when you are diving gear you need to go below dock and then more listen to sounds and then decide what you want to do just by hearing the footsteps of the scientist. Since we got a boat today it won't be that hard but I will definitely show the second perspective as well where we dive below large. Oh, large just respawned. This is the perfect timing. Okay, now that we have arrived at Auric I can show you my inventory. We are only loaded with a little bit of cloth. Thompson hazmat. I'm actually gonna show you to get on top without hazmat. So you can't say the armor makes any difference because it doesn't. What we are going to wait for now is the scientist to get in a good position. So we just take a look at it, the rotation. For example, L2 is perfect right now. There's no scientist like close to the front stairs. No scientist coming that way. And they're all moving towards the back. L1 is not that good because the side is still in the front. If you have to choose between, it's better to have them like right there than right there. Because the stair will cover you when you run up. And if he's right there, he will just give you all the damage going up these stairs. While we have talked about it, the scientists have cleared pretty well the path. L3 is like a little bad because there's one right there but that should be fine we can go up now oh there's al already a mini coming that's a little scuffed but i'll show you how to get on top at least one of the opposite of the positive effects of going up a large rig without killing any scientists of course the the cover that it brings with it People don't suspect somebody to be here. Now that we made it up here into L3 vent, our next goal would be to get an L4 vent. Okay, now that we have healed up almost full HP, I'm gonna show you the first way to get up. Is this? Oh, the mini is coming back. You need to drop one ball. Oh, jump up on this. Then you jump over here, which leads you straight into L4 vent. So we just made that jump and we walk down this vent. Depending on what path you or like the situation you're in, you can go up. Oh, that's scuffed. There's a scientist right there. You can go up this ladder. I'm gonna do that. Because it's the quicker way, since there was a scientist. But you can also jump up these pipes, which are like right there. Like these gas pipes right here. These. And now I'm gonna check ball. I don't see anybody, so... I'm just gonna make this jump. And now you have reached the top level of large Ulrich with just a few bandages and a hundred cloth without killing any scientists so not leaving any trace for the people to see and figure out that you're here even though we waited for respawn we didn't make it up fast enough but it should be fine camping in the vents is not usually the best play oh the mini is coming back again so it's dropping off more and more people it's a little red You can already see one is on crane. But he's actually close. We might have sneaked past him in a good way. I don't know why, but when you hold this Tom's in your hand, look at the, the trees, it looks like monkeys. You see that too easy? Look, now they have checked the bottom scientist. You've seen them checking the scientist. And since the scientist at the bottom, is still alive, you might think I'm not here, you know. 
apart from the fact that I heard me shooting against the scientist, or like running up, and the scientist shooting me. Usually when you get here in time and don't make any noise, people check the scientist at the bottom and if it's cleared, that's like a sign for them to know that there's a group here. But if you do it my way and get up here without any trace, no killing of scientists, it's usually a piece of cake to backstab them on crane. I mean, it probably works against people who are not as, as experienced in Rust. Killing the scientists at the bottom can go up. But if you play against a high tier player who have knowledge, they will instantly know that you're there and then they can push you with will have you or whatever. So not clearing the sites at the bottom is S tier play, you know. Look, they call heavy, like they have no clue. If I would have killed the sites at the bottom, they would have searched the whole place. And now we wait for the heavies to start playing. Shit. At least you know how to get on Ulrich now. Wasn't the best prime example, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the vid. And don't forget to subscribe, you little rats.